Okay, I am here today with a very special guest, my friend Reed. Say hi, Reed. How's it going, everybody? Well, it's the year 2000X, and a super robot named Mega Man was created uh, by Dr. Light. And shit's gonna happen, and things are gonna happen. This is my favorite Mega Man game. This is my second favorite game of all time. Yeah. And uh, today I'm hopefully gonna look good playing it and not jinx myself by having just said that. Yeah, well, this is actually my favorite Mega Man 2, so uh, what a, a little disappointing. What a fucking coincidence. Yes, it'll be very disappointing if you don't do well, because I'll just be shaking my head. You know what? It'll be doubly disappointing, because uh, when I initially asked Reed to come do some game recording with me, I asked him, hey, what game do you think you'd probably want to play? And one of his top choices was Mega Man 2, and I'm like, well, I'm a dick, and I'm going to do that. So... Uh, it's understandable, though. I mean, this game is one of the best games, as you said, of Thanks. my childhood, or in general. It has some of the best music uh, in any video Absolutely. game. Absolutely. Best soundtrack. Uh, great level designs. Yep. Very interesting, fun bosses. And unlike a lot of other Mega Mans, you can actually use the powers consistently throughout levels instead of switching to them in certain situations, which in my opinion makes this uh, more entertaining. Because then it gives you multiple ways to play through a level as opposed to, uh, you know, some powers which you use four times and then you're completely out. This is a man who knows his Mega Man. I appreciate that. Now, we were just discussing before we actually started recording that this uh, originally came out in 88. I think the first Mega Man came out in 87. Um, this released in the U.S. in 89. You said your brother was born... 89. There you go. Yep. You were born... 91. Uh, spoilers, Reed is a baby. He's a tiny baby. He's yes. actually... I was born... Uh, he's, I'm not gonna say when I was born, but let's just say he was born about a, a decade after me. I'll leave it at that. Okay. So I'm not, uh, um, I, I, I don't give a shit about gamer manliness, so I'm gonna play it on normal. I don't give a fuck. And here we go. Fucking game. Okay. Now- So where do you go first? I am a maverick. A I'm, maverick. A, I'm a mavericky maverick from Wasilla, Alaska. Alright. And so I don't give a shit. I just tend to play- in whatever order I feel like. Oh god, what happened? Oh jeez. That's yeah. a dumb little secret I learned as a kid that I thought was amazing. Alright, I've never seen that. What was that? It's just the little bird enemies that come out. If you yeah, hold I know, I know the bird. Oh. Yeah, if you just hold A and B down. And I, I learned that in a magazine or something. Or maybe I was just fucking around and I discovered it. Oh god, the frogs. I thought as a kid, I'm like, Holy oh, crap, I'm so cool, I do that every time! You know, like, <laughs> yeah. So, oh, Jesus Christ. They're already, already taking damage at the second enemy That's the game. fine. That's fine, because I'm a man. I can just fuck frogs. Yeah. Unless they're thunder frogs. Unless they're from Estonia and they're thunder frogs, then they're cool. Yeah. So, um, normally when I play Mega Man 2, I like to go to Metal Man first, like most people. Yeah, most normal people. And then, and then you just kind of use Metal Blade, like I was saying, you know, you can use certain, like, uh, Shoot it all Boomerang over the and Metal and metal Blade. There, there's so much, uh, uh, power that oh, you can use. Oh, my asshole. You're just getting hit all over again. The shell in my asshole. Yeah. I don't think Mega Man has an asshole, so that's fortunate, but... True. Oh, that, you know, that brings up a pertinent point, though. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid... I thought that Mega Man was kind of like Iron Man. I thought, fuck off. I thought <laughs> that he was uh, a dude. I thought that Dr. Light created robots that went bad, and because the robots went bad and he couldn't trust them, that he just made a fucking mech suit that he okay. put a, a human dude in. I thought Mega Man was a human dude, and that was my story. And I kind of prefer that, honestly. I found out the sad truth when I got older in my teens. I'm like, oh no, he's you know. Yeah, yeah. So I had to I had to swallow my pride and accept well, the truth. I can I can see why you think that, because he's got kind of more of a normal face. I saw him ones. with the hair and shit, he yeah. takes his helmet off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean at the, at the beginning of this game he yeah. had his helmet off. Doctor Light wanted him to be like a real boy. Yeah. Yeah. All these Good old rock man. Yeah. In Japan he was called Rock Man. Yeah. With his which I don't know why they didn't change Roll's name if they, since they changed Mega Man's name. His whole point was rock and roll. Because they didn't care. It's funny because in the first episode of the quirky, the quirky American Mega Man cartoon, mm -hmm. there's a moment where I don't even remember what happens. 
like Mega Man and Roll get fucking attacked or something by Wily's forces, and Dr. Light literally yells out like, Oh no, not rock and roll! And it just sounds like an angry old man yelling at his neighbors or something. That, that's pretty great. That's pretty I, good. I haven't seen that one. I've seen a oh, couple. No. All good. Do you know the theme song? Probably. It's amazing. Maybe. All these super fighting robot Mega Man. It's very <laughs> 80s, even though it was a 90s cartoon. Yeah, I did. I've seen a couple episodes of uh, Mega Man NT Warrior. Mm. Mostly, mostly because I got the Mega Man collection on the Xbox when it when it was Xbox. Yeah, and I, and that's where I actually I only um, growing up we had an NES, but we only had two Mega Man games. We had Mega Man Two mm. and Mega Man Six, and Mega Man Six. Uh, was much harder than Mega Man 2. A little bit. So I played Mega Man 2 more. Um, but then when that came out on Xbox, because I liked Mega Man so much, my parents bought for me. You know, it's, I was in high school or whatever. Yeah. And, um, you know, playing through that game, you can unlock the first episode of NT Warrior. Mm. And I watched that episode so many times because I just, you know. Ready? Yeah. Shit's right. about to get real. Boss time. Fucking Bubble Man. He's the most dangerous guy on the planet. Yeah? Good luck. Fucker. I used to play this so much that I would just go hardcore mode and beat all the bosses with just feature. I didn't yeah. give a fuck about orders, I didn't give a fuck about what was weak against what, I just did it. I did it because I was a man. Yeah. At, like, 11 years old. I was an 11 year old man. Well, I mean, it, it, this is one of the few ones where it's not completely impossible. Oh, yeah, not, no. Not, I mean, you know, it's not impossible, but there are certain bosses... Some of the later ones like are kind of fucked. Yeah, you, you have to use powers against powers. Yeah. Bubble in. Got the bubble in. This, this is some shit. If you've never seen classic... For all you kids out there who don't even know what a password is... Uh, Wrap your head around writing that shit down. Because you couldn't just write down a fucking, like, number of letters or numbers. You basically had to draw a fucking graph and put dots yeah. in it. Oh, yeah, no, we um, we had sheets of uh, liner paper. Oh, there you go. Just like, folded up and attached to our, uh, our um, cartridges. That's what they're called. I had a Those things. For a moment. Those yeah. archaic things. Car you know, how, how we used to... You know, it's kind of like... Uh, not even Game Boys anymore, I was just like a little card. They had like little SD card type things, yeah, flash cards. God. Matter of fact, Sony kind of flipped the script because they started out with little mini discs on the PSP, mm -hmm. but then on the Vita they switched and did the same thing with like little flash cards. Because yeah. I think they hold more memory, ultimately. Yeah, they And they're cheaper to me. I hate this part because of the drills. These guys don't stop coming. As, as long as you're on top of those heads, those guys keep coming, as you saw. Yeah. You just... The only good thing about it is that if you're clever, you can use it to farm one-ups. But this game is uh, notoriously a dick about sporadically giving you one-ups. Except for there's one part in White's mm. Castle, but I'll, you can get to that part later when you get there. Pretty true. Even then, it's a little rough, but it's easier just because there's uh, stuff in it. True. Good thing I need that. I will need that. Eventually. And it won't give it to me. Yeah. That's how was, Mega Man works. Yeah, a little bit earlier, I was just trying to get used, because I haven't played these games in a while, so I was uh, messing around playing Mega Man uh, 5. Mm. And um, I was almost dead, and everything just decided to stop dropping health for me for a long time. <laughs> I died. I kill two things, and then a big health orb comes out. It's like, oh, cool. Yeah, Thanks. right then. There, you needed this, right? Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, yeah, you said you wanted this. Here no you go. No problem, buddy. Uh, yeah, I was telling Reed earlier. Um, I actually did it weird. I did it backwards. I used to rent games as a kid from uh, those crazy things called rental stores. Like Blockbuster. Yeah, all the best video, etc. And, um... I actually rented Mega Man 3 first for some reason. I don't even remember why. I just grabbed it and said, hey, I'm gonna try this. And it was fucking hard. It was one of the harder Mega Mans. And I didn't really enjoy it. And then, I don't think it was sequential. I think I probably rented other stuff. 
but the next Mega Man I rented was one, uh, which, spoilers, is also pretty fucked. Ouch. My butt. And then, uh, I finally, like, the third Mega Man game I rented was two, and I fucking loved it. I don't remember if I beat it that time- oh, give me. I don't remember if I beat it that time that I rented it, but I fucking loved it. That's been- it's been my favorite Mega Man since. At some point, I finally got a copy for myself. I think there was, uh, there was a stretch of time in the town I grew up in where a couple of old stores like a Woolworths and a fucking Kmart or something were both going out of business. And so my grandmother was nice enough to like take me there when they were having going out of business sales. And there was a bunch of fucking NES games on sale. So I just got a bunch. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, um, the only NES games, I guess my dad, because I found out today, actually, I didn't know what all the years these Mega Mans came out, but mm. uh, Mega Man 6, which we had, came out in 93, and I wasn't aware my dad was still buying Something video like that, games. Something like 93 or 94. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't aware he was buying video games, but um, when I was young, the only console, I think I mentioned this, that we had was an NES, a regular NES. No SNES, no anything else, no N64. What so, games did you have on it besides the Mega Oh Man? my god, we had like just a box full of games. Right. We had, obviously, the Mario Brothers. Mario, yeah. We had Mario Brothers 3. A friend ended up giving Mario Brothers 2 a while later. We had uh, just a game called Football. Yeah, just it was just, just called Football. Yeah. football yeah. yeah. Uh we didn't play that one much because we couldn't figure it out. Uh, we had a game can called Can you even pass in that game or you just you, run? It's like you rugby. can pass, <laughs> but it's really it's not intuitive. Yeah. I mean it, you know it's it, no it's tech limited. Mobile. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not tech mobile. That, that's the point of making. It was just called football, it wasn't tech mobile. <laughs> uh, we had a game called baseball. Just Playing as vanilla baseball, yeah. yeah. Like, it, it, and the, the teams just were one letter. Yeah. I, I actually, I think they might have been cities, but um, regardless, it, you know, when you pick it, uh, I only picked the ones or the colors I liked because I had no idea what they actually were. And that game, it was kind of weird because basically every team was the same level. Yeah. So it didn't really matter which team you picked. It was basically just which color do you want to be in the baseball game. Yeah, in the baseball game. Um, and it was, like, me and my brothers played that one probably the most, because uh, it was a multiplayer game, um, and so we played that a lot. Um, what else did we have? We had um, a game called Spot, I think? It was basically like a fellow or whatever, but the seven up. Yeah, they had a guy. cool spot game on NES that was like a fucked up checkers game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we was, we we had Kirby and Dreamland. That was a very great game. That's one. That's my. Yeah. That's my top three favorite games of all time. Are all NES games, and I'm fucking up. Uh, and they're Mario Three, Mega Man Two, and Kirby's Adventure. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck off. See. I'm not, I'm trying to farm, but also these guys just won't stop coming. That's what she said. <laughs> um, we had a, a Dick Tracy game, which none of us could figure yeah, out. Yeah, that's a fuck. that's a weird game. Tracy! <laughs> Have you ever seen that movie, the 1990 movie? I did see it. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah, it's okay. They did, yeah, I, you know, they did a good job, like, trying to be true to the old scripts or whatever, but it's... Oh, that's one of the things I loved about NES games. You can sometimes just despawn an just enemy, fucking glitch them, man. and then you just get to go by for free. That was always fun. How did that? And then you can sometimes despawn health, apparently. Yeah, I don't know. It's fine. I don't need it on man. It's all right. You're at the boss. You haven't played yet, right? Oh shit! Don't spoil it. Don't just don't jinx it. It'll happen. Well, I'm sure it's going to happen. I used to play point. this. I don't know about you. I'm sure it was similar for you, but I used to play this game so much that I'm pretty sure I could... I don't know if I did a no-death run, but maybe. Close enough. I definitely never did a no-death run. But, like, a very limited death run. Mostly I could beat the shit out of this game. Yeah. Fuck you, Air Man. Good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, most, mostly uh, because I would stop playing after the Robot Masters a lot of times because I didn't want to go through the Wily Castle. Yeah. The Robot Masters were the most fun because yeah. then you get your powers and everything. Absolutely. So... so. Yeah. Fucking air shooter. Oh, oh, what's happening? I'm getting a message from Dr. White. Oh. Item 2. Yeah. 
Yeah. Also, um, back in the day, you uh, you couldn't choose how fast your your words scrolled across the screen. Oh no. So no. You just kind of deal with it. Get equipped with item two, which I believe is the rocket, right? It's the proto rocket sled. It's a prototype to rush. Yeah. All right.